Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Mortality scares us all. We all are concerned about what happens when the lights go off. But there is one character in fiction who went to the furthest extremes to keep that from happening. Let's take a look at Tom Riddle, AKA Voldemort, and what the movies missed. So apparently, I'm scrubbed because I don't read books. Yes. And apparently... Reading is important, Royce. Gotta read. I'll see it in the movie. No, but the, considering... There's a line. There's a line. <laughs> it's a very good line. And those of you who have seen it, I don't know what I'm talking about, but a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. Keeps it sharp. I'll see it in the movie. It's fine. <sighs> However, that being said, apparently, there's a lot I didn't see in the movie because... Yes. They yes. kind of failed on uh, the ye old man whose name we must not speak. Anyway. Voldemort. Uh, Voldemort. Yeah. I'm talking Voldemort. We're talking Harry Potter. Come yeah, on. no, no. I got that. That was just such a butchering of it. That can you can you get on the level, please? You know what? If you read the books, you might actually have that memorized. Just saying. I'm done with you. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll see you in the next one. Maybe. No. All right. um, but no, I mean, they did miss it. I mean, obviously, especially once you get into four and later. I mean, mm. the books are like yay thick. And, yeah, uh, they're pretty big. And so it's just like, obviously, they're not going to get everything... For those of you, and I know there's going to be some book people that get after me for this one, the Quidditch World Cup was not necessary. Would it have been cool to see? Yes. Was it necessary? No. That was one of those things that I heard when I was a kid is, and I don't remember what movie had come out at the time. I know we're still living in um, uh, the first house that I lived in with my yeah, parents. Right, yeah. uh, this, oh, God, this was... I don't know. I don't know. But they were, I, I supposedly somebody was mad that they didn't include a Quidditch match with Hufflepuff. They didn't say what I don't remember, but they I'm I just... they said I didn't like this movie, and I I think it was I th want to say it was the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, if it's the Hufflepuff match, I'm th thinking of it was no maybe that was uh what was it I Ravenclaw don't remember. that they were playing I when they got remember. the Quidditch Cup maybe that one Ravenclaw Hufflepuff I don't know uh, uh, but anyway they anyway. were mad that some sort of a Quidditch match was not shown in like the second movie yeah and that was very important to this person now we were also like 12 or right. however yeah. old we were at the time well, I mean at the time so, I was disappointed I didn't get to see the Quidditch World Cup either like yeah. but you know and obviously the book people will yell at me but no it wasn't necessary to show it, it would have been cool but yeah. It's like the dragon I never shot up about. It just doesn't add to yeah, the movie. Yeah, no, and so, and one of the things that... <laughs> we um, might do another video one of these days about too much CGI. We can yeah, get into that there's, one. there's one of those... It'll tie in for that. There's one of the... But, um, but, but when you have a character like Voldemort, well, who, for a guy like me, all I've done was watch the movies, and as, you know, as a kid, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, Voldemort's a big bad. But as an adult, you kind of look at the guy and you go, all right, is there more to this dude? Or I, Believe it or not, there is. And so um, this is uh, all in the book, Half Blood Prince. The movie did not do a fantastic. I hate that movie. I hate that movie. And just, it, it, it just not being a, a person who has seen the movies, it's not. I hate the Half Blood Prince. If I can just not watch it, I just don't yeah, watch. just skip right to seven. Um, but it's um, no. If yeah, when uh, Harry and Dumbledore, they really do use the pensive. I think is how it's pronounced to uh, go into Dumbledore's memories, and they actually use it to start going into memories about Voldemort, right. um, people who knew him as a young man. That's why there's that whole subplot in the both the book and the film. Yeah. Of him trying to get Slughorn's memory. I actually, I actually like that. I actually like. Well, that. It, but it ties in a lot more if you understand uh, Voldemort's backstory. Um, they start off uh, looking at a completely uh, random scene, which is um, this old dilapidated house in the middle of an English Shire type place, yeah. right? Countryside. There's a big lordly manor, and it turns out that that's Voldemort's grandparents and his mother is living there and they are actual descendants of Salazar Slytherin like the great 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 yeah, yeah. and so See, and I don't think they ever covered that in the movies I don't think they did they hint at the locket holding significant uh, significance because it's Slytherins but Voldemort truly saw it as rightfully his because he's the last he is the heir of Slytherin that's why it all ties into the yeah um, the Slytherin house and the pure blood, and stuff. also why he was able which, to, and, and all, which is kind of ironic. It's also what makes he, him able to talk to snakes. Yeah. It's that was a gift of uh, Slytherins that was passed down, and that's how he was able to open the Chamber of Secrets in the first place. Back when he was at, oh, school. Yeah, that totally makes way more sense now. Yeah, he was Slytherin's that was heir. A rare thing. Oh, he was Slytherin's heir. Huh. 
Yeah, the Look movie completely that. missed that. Look at that. And then keep you know, reading those books, Matt. I'll pick your brain. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, not, Why I do just, I feel like Hermione all of a sudden? I, dude, um, I just I fall asleep but, every time I try but, to read four four like four sentences into reading anything, even stuff that I like. I'm just, and all of a sudden it's five hours later, and I'm just like, oh god, damn it. <laughs> even with coffee, I don't know. Go on. There's something wrong with you. Shut anyway. up. But anyway, no, and then, you know, it actually goes further into this where you start to look at uh, Riddle. He's still Tom Riddle at this point. His fixation with the uh, other founders of Hogwarts and his you know sense of belonging to the school itself. He is the great, 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 great grandson or something of one of the founders. He feels like this is his home more than he ever did because his mother fell in love with a muggle. Not so good for the whole pure See, blood. See, none family. of that was covered in the Yeah, movies. and none so she the... uses a love potion to bewitch the guy, gets uh, pregnant with Tom Riddle, yeah, uh, Junior. The senior was Tom Riddle as well. Okay, um, and then at some and point, so, and that's and so that so that makes sense as to why he changed his name. It, it's even brought up. That's even uh, brought up in the movie, the Chamber of Secrets movie. Did you think I'd keep my filthy Muggle father's name when I became the greatest sorcerer in the world? It's hinted at in two, and six does nothing with it. And, okay, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, like I said. And so there's a lot more depth. And then, you know, this is all... We're still in Half-Blood Prince. I haven't even gotten to my, you know, favorite one yet. Is uh, It shows him trying to collect these, and he's always very polite, proper, you know, but you can always kind of get the little bit of his future personality out well, of that, so or his when, actual when, personality. So when in uh, uh, the, the movie... They show Dumbledore going to meet him. At the orphanage, and, yeah. Because and, and his mother I, dies, and that's that'll be important later. No, because no, no. But, there's but, but hold on, but, but, yeah, yeah. but okay. here's the problem, is they make it seem like this little boy is a sociopath. Well, because he kind of was. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so that was a thing. That was a thing. Okay. They go Because I'm trying to parse out, like... Well, when Dumbledore goes to um, meet Tom at the orphanage, he tells him that he's a wizard, and he goes, best we can tell, you're a half-blood, you know... One of your parents was a muggle. One of your parents was uh, magical. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, it has to be my mother. That was the muggle because otherwise she wouldn't have died. So wizard, to him, it is the ultimate failure that she was magical and died. Oh, wow. And so that leads into his whole quest for immortality. Why he made the horcruxes in all of this. And this is, I think, the movie's biggest sin. And this comes in seven part two or eight, if you want to. Right. And that is that final scene of Harry and Voldemort, and they're both like on the ground kneeling and shooting, you know, magic lights at each other. And then Voldemort it rebounds on him. That's accurate. And then he like wisps away like some sort of smoky demon. Yeah. No, in the books, it's in the Great Hall where both Tom and Harry started their magical journey, and now it's where it's coming to Again, an end. Poetry. Poetry. We said it in the last one. Yes. Poetry. And Harry comes in and it's a final duel and, you know, the Death Eaters are being rounded up. Um, Molly Weasley kills Bellatrix. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know if that made it to the film. I haven't seen that part in a while. Um, and um, so they're sitting there, they're dueling, and Harry calls him Tom. Because to, to say that, no, you're not... You're not a person whose name we don't speak. In fact, you are just a man. And when Voldemort dies in the book, he has a body. He is no more, you know, so ethereal and, than any other person. He at the, all of this evil, all of this power. At the end of the day, he's still just a man. So very powerful, magical man, but a man. In, in other words, he doesn't, the, the, he doesn't wisp away and come yeah. as like immortal. Well, like force ghost type of indeed way. or some so sort of demon words, in other words be... the directors of the movie gave tom riddle what he always wanted it, they did to be elevated more, more than to, just a he, man they raised him above lesser mortals i think that... and i think that misses the point so entirely you look back at his entire track record his you know entitlement due to his lineage his you know surprise at being a uh, magical person his absolute disdain for his mother for dying while even magical, which leads into his own fear of death. All of these tie into his character, and you get none of it in the movie. See, and that was always something that I, and maybe kind of knowing this, maybe I do actually need to go in and read the books eventually. Well, uh, it's one of those things. It's one of those things that you just, 
<laughs> when you kind of watch the movies, and this being a guy that's like, I'll see it in the movies, and I've never been a guy that's like, I'll see it in the movies, and here's, oh, yeah. and here's why, and here's why. I've seen my fair share of movies, and I'm just like, I guarantee, because I know some movies that have been made off of book series and right. stuff like that, and I'm like, I guarantee the book was better. And so I actually know Aragon. people. I, I, Aragon. Yeah, Aragon. No, Aragon. no. Yeah. And, and so, uh, but I'll call people and say, hey, man, what's going on with this? So I'm, I've never been the type of person, oh, I'll see it in the movie, because no, the books are genuinely better. Well, they have the time to... Tenfold. They have the time to do it. Yeah. But kind of just seeing the... uh, well, how long? It's did, not even like the Luke Skywalker thing because there's no like I am your father moment, right? No, but I mean, so how, long even, have, how long have we been going here? Nine, ten, ten-ish minutes? Yeah. And I was able to explain all that? Yeah. Ten minutes, guys, in two-hour movies. All we needed was... I know, obviously, there's a lot of work that has to go into that. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but ten but minutes spread across two, three it movies. Even 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minutes between two or three movies. But... And that was the thing is like that's why I was never really interested in in the Harry Potter books because uh, don't get me wrong Harry Potter although a good character I you know what what is it the hero is only as good as his villain right yeah and, and in the movies the villain was, it was just very one note no and like I said I hate the movie The Half Blood Prince I hated that movie so much and what's funny is Voldemort isn't even in it well like, outside of the flashback scenes where he's a young man or a kid he doesn't show up well and like I I I he shows up briefly I five. didn't like. I really, 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 really did not like that whole movie because it seemed like there was so much more in all of the characters, not just the Voldemort stuff, but oh, all we, of we the can, characters. We can do character studies on, you know, obviously Hermione's a very popular character, but she's still not the same characters in the books. No. Uh, Ginny got the short uh, end of the stick a lot of the time, where she's barely in the movies. Or used as a plot device. Yeah, Ron. Ron, Ron was, was just complete. a prop in the room. I, yeah, I and my my favorite character. We that, might do a full video. Yeah, on Ron. We, dude. I'm, Hermione and Ginny, we could probably combine into one video. But Ron will get his own at some point. Well, well at least because, I'd like to. Well, yeah. You know, I always look at that. You know, going back just just to just to throw in my own nitpick real quick. Yeah. Ron in the Sorcerer's Stone or the um, Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. If you're or, UK, yeah, exactly. Canadian. But it, in, <laughs> but if you want, but. But Ron in those movies, in this, he was he was smart, he was witty, and he knew he wasn't the main guy, right? No, he, he knew he, he was the backup guy. And and as a kid, even watching those movies, I was never like, oh, I'll be the hero. Even as a kid, I was like, no, but I could be the hero's best friend. Yeah. And it's not that, it, that the story didn't say it, but it was just, I was like, because I realized. I know, as who a are kid, you? His bodyguard? But, but that's His just. Gardener. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his guard exactly. Yeah, but the yeah. Samwise, the yeah. Samwise, and, yeah. and again, there was a few movies that done r- right around the same time period that showed you know being the backup guy was just as important. But especially when you start getting into your villains, you know, you know, Sauron was always a really good character. But because Sauron was more of a he was a menacing presence. He yeah. was that presence that was always there but never there. So there was a mysterious thing there. Well, it's kind of like the early Emperor before we get to the bridge scene. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Re- uh, Return of uh, the Jedi. But you know, you got to see what a hollow chat between him and Vader, and that well, was it. And and the, the whole yeah. I, and again, that's part of the reason that I never really wanted to see it is because Voldemort seems so one dimensional in there, the movies that it was, it it was. And and now that you kind of threw that out there, that in the, in the Chamber of Secrets, I'd have to go actually watch yeah. it again. I think it was because they changed directors. I think it was after well, three or four. Two. It was after two. That's right. And there's then, a new then director. Did, then five, six, and seven are all the same again. Yeah. So one and two are Chris Columbus. Uh, two, uh, three is Alfonso Cuarón. If I'm Which, saying that by right. By the way, Prisoner of Azkaban is still probably my favorite of the movies. I have my issues with it. I, I know, have my I, issues I know, with it. I know. And they're not, you know, meaningless ones like, um, yeah. you know, the Quidditch match not being shown. I'm talking true character arts, arts and narratives being re- rewritten and or ignored. Yeah. No, I can but, talk about the Grim all day. Yeah, but, um, but no, I'm not getting into that. But but that was yeah. the thing is that you never. And don't get me started on what the was dragon. it? It was because because in two you really start to kind of see Voldemort, or at least you saw a memory of him. But you saw you Voldemort saw... himself in Sorcerers slash Philosophers, yes. where he's on the back of Quirrell's head. Super freaky for a kids movie. Yeah, that was uh, that was odd. That was strange. I just watched uh, it the other day. Yeah, and I was like, wow, that actually looks really good. And I mean, but it's in the story, like that's in the book. Yeah. And then it's um, the uh, the second one. You got to see the memory, which is, and I don't know if they ever actually elaborated on this in the movie. It's they show it. I know they show it, but I don't know if they bring enough attention to it. The diary was a Horcrux. That yeah. wasn't just a memory. That was a part of his. Well, soul. and they, they said that yeah. in Sam. Okay. Good. I'm glad. Whenever they go on the Horcrux adventure, I believe they said that. It, 
that was one of them. So, so you weren't yeah. actually seeing a memory of Tom Riddle. You're that was part of his soul. soul. That was part of his yeah. soul. And see, and it's yeah. all this stuff here that you're like, but I think they just kind of brought a lot of that in too late, or you didn't care. You didn't, they didn't set it up because all it was. Because I'm sorry, all the video games or blah, 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 the the movies felt like it was a video game. It's yeah. like. Well, how do we beat this guy? How do we beat this guy? Oh, well, we just hit the level where we well, learned how to beat yeah, the guy. Yeah, it's, it's like it when was you like they up, just once they got access to level well, seven. You, you start up or six. You start up, you know, Kotor two. You got to start off on the space station, and then you got to go off on each little little world. But don't go to Korriban first. Can't do that. No. And uh, you can, but you'll lose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, it feels like a video game. You sit there and you go through the different areas to make sure you're the right level to kill the final boss. And and that's really what it felt like. Just learning about the Horcruxes. It's like, oh, we can't actually kill this guy. But and they're set up so well. They weren't just protectors for Voldemort. They were trophies. That's part of his obsession with the founders. If you notice, you know, because Harry, you know, even asks in the books, well, couldn't they just be anything, an old boot or a tin can? And Dumbledore smirks and goes, you're thinking of port keys. But no, more importantly, it's look at who Tom Riddle is. Look at what he wants. He's drawn to power and majesty. He wouldn't just use some manky old boot. He would get something that had a lot of historical significance, especially to him, which is why he used, you know, Ravenclaw's uh, tiara, diadem. He used Hufflepuff's cup. He used, um, he, oh. and it's even theorized, and this is a scene that never gets mentioned, and it's creepy when you think about it, is Dumbledore is now headmaster, and it's been maybe 15 years since Riddle left school. And he comes in, and he's not quite Voldemort, but he's not quite Tom Riddle, and he's applying for defense against the dark arts teacher. And it's during that time that when he hides the cup and the uh, the diadem in the room of requirement, thinking yes. that only he had figured that out in his arrogance. And it is implied that he was not only there to turn Gryffindor's sword into a Horcrux, hmm. but he also wanted the job to learn more about the uh, school. And ever since Dumbledore turned him down, that job had been cursed and no teacher had lasted more than a year. Huh. Which is really creepy when you think about it, because I've if there's one wizard more powerful enough to cast that kind of curse, it'd be Voldemort. How would you maybe cast Dumbledore curse on a position? It's probably more on the school itself, but um. Okay, and so yeah, yeah, probably that. But that, it is creepy, and also maybe Voldemort was working behind the scenes. Well, but to that ensure would it. make a lot of sense as to why Snape never really got into that role is because you know Snape being the double agent which was yeah. something that I really appreciate they did well talk do. about you know that is how you subvert expectations correctly by the way yeah and the movie didn't do it Rowling did before she yeah. went on her but, but no base. Snape but, being the double agent the way that he was or like triple agent or well he was it. yeah he was like a triple agent because he was a good guy working for the bad guys pretending to work for the good guys while pretending to work for the bad guys and it's just like and he was ultimately just good and yeah when you find out that he cared but Misguided they initially. They really but. missed a lot about... Voldemort actually seems like a good character. If they would have shown that guy in the movies... Yeah, I know. I actually probably would have wanted to read the books. He's not just some snake face dude that sits there and cackles at you. He's truly a character. Well, see, and that's one of those things that I... Because the movies make it look like all he's trying to do this for so is that power. Kind of ex wait, 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 that kind of explains a lot of his obsession with Harry is because the uh, having used the, uh, the um, Havada Kedavra... And Harry not dying, he he had to have been obsessed with the man who defeated death. Yes. Or obsessed with the kid who defeated death. Yes. That makes a wow. And how did this hey, that was baby, a light bulb. Yeah, how did this baby survive what even I could not? Without my horcruxes. Oh, that totally makes a whole lot of sense now. And so he's obsessed with Harry, and that's why he's so derisive. Uh the, you know, the mother sacrifice. I should have seen it and I overlooked it. And then he uses Harry's blood and but we can get into that later. But that that's a whole yeah. I had to have that one explained to me, so I'm not going <laughs> to even try. But yeah. uh, that's um, a whole because you've explained that yeah. to me, and even I was like, wait, hold on. Yeah, hold there's on. like there's a couple really good hold Potter on. channels that can explain that one if you're interested. Yeah. Oh, and, and then we do it so much but, better. These are just this is just this is just my rant on you know what I know from the books. I just reread them a couple months ago. Oh uh, well, and, I, and and on what uh, part they of, really missed his character, and I don't mean that they missed his well, persona. I, 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 they missed his character. I missed his character. And yeah. The whole reason I want to do this episode is because yeah. one of the things that I love about our conversations and why we're kind of doing this whole thing is because I get to learn more about things I'm already either partially interested in or really interested right. in. And uh, kind of knowing all that, now I can go search out and, and see more of that information mm -hmm. and that lore to be like, this was an interesting guy. This was a cool... And that's part of the reason I want to have this conversation is because... Oh, I'm, indeed. You know, it, and I, no, I just this is a learning of, channel as much as it is just us venting into the ether. Indeed, but I mean, yeah, right. But I don't know. I just, 
you know, they really missed a lot of what makes Voldemort a character, and that's why I wanted to name it that way. It's because he's obviously in the movie. And some of the scenes that where they have him in there are really done well. The graveyard scene is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But they don't incorporate his character into him. He's just the final boss. You, yeah. you know, he does all these really creepy things. The actor did a fantastic job portraying yeah, him, yeah. but they never develop him. They never get to see what makes Tom Riddle Voldemort back to Tom Riddle. Yeah, the, well, and development's been on the chopping block for a long time. Oh, I know. Long time, so. But I think we are just about out of hey, time on this we one. The park? We did now. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching uh, Drink With Crazy, and we will see you on the next one where we are going to talk about... Um, you know, uh, uh, some crazy stuff's kind of going on in he, the world. He forgot. And no, He's no, no, so I know what this one is. I'm just trying to figure out how to figure No, no. I remember what it is. I'm just trying to figure out how to say it. Is, uh, we're going to talk about what government would look like with the morality of Superman or just what the world would look like if we just had a Superman figure in the world. Uh, yeah, that, that one's going to be interesting. Gonna, yeah, that's going to be fun. That's, He'll leave the charge on that one because, hey. you know, he, he at least pays attention to comic books. He just doesn't pay attention to real books. Stick around to the end to find <laughs> out how you can support the channel. And thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the video. We hope you enjoyed the discussion as much as we did. I know we've been having these for a long time just between the two of us. If you did enjoy this content and you want to see more like it, please share this with all your friends. And we'd love to hear your own opinions down in the comments. Agree, disagree. We want to hear it either way. If you do want to support this channel and we'd greatly appreciate it, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification for every time we go live. Hope to see you guys next time on A Drink With Crazy. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.